for 10. So I was in fact quite off in my guesses earlier. So the implications of where people could end up tomorrow are important. It appears that Saginaw no longer wishes no longer wishes to just have a video of his rear end as what's going on. Blake apparently has a nice spot, I've been told. I will leave that up to the viewers to decide. Saginaw Valley, full of shout outs today for its players and their anatomy. They're all family. Saginaw Valley pushing forward again. With how much they run, it shows that they really are one of the better conditioned teams in the country. Somewhat counterintuitive to some of the somewhat lovable, pudgy, doughy bodies I see. They can, however, keep yogging the whole game. Credit where it's due. They can definitely out yog me. And as Anchorman pointed out, it is pronounced yogging with the soft J. Apparently all you do is run. Upon reflection, I do feel that if I'm gonna make corny jokes, I should probably base them off the dodgeball movie instead of Anchorman. Excellent block by Saginaw Valley, running forward again. Block. A truly great catch. Hit him in the leg and bounced into his hands. Today we've definitely had a lot of video of impressive catches. That kind of blew my mind. Got me rather excited, hot and bothered, so to speak. Jogging forward again. Saginaw Valley. Looks like we have a giant working in the back, now pushing his way to the front. Number eight. Apparently his name is Andy Miller. Snake. Number 80. Saginaw Valley crowding the back line, trying to see how many people they can fit in a small space. Jonathan Shaw of Towson trying to make it one less person in that space. His throw was a little short. Towson pushes forward, throws the ball directly at the commentator. Apparently he does not approve of what I have to say. I can't say I blame him. Looks like there was a tag for Towson. They'll need those if they want to win. Usually one of the best strategies you can use to win a dodgeball game is hit the other players, preferably while not being hit yourselves. Yet again, we have another rear end. Just This time it is the captain, Max Siller. My oh my. I do not think he realizes that it is all we are filming right now. I would like this commentary to be more of a commentary than just the anatomy of Saginaw Valley, but that is what it has become. To all of the lady dodgeballers out there, this is uh, your chance. Enjoy it. You can silently watch Saginaw Valley skipping around. Towson pushes up, throws, falls back, has decided to keep up, try to press an advantage see if they can maybe get some tags that would help them immensely. John Shaw throws the ball at me yet again. He wants everyone to know he likes to throw the ball. Friendlier guy you will not meet unless you meet someone who's friendlier.
Saginaw Valley is pushed up. John Shaw narrowly misses. An excellent catch. John Shaw, clutch catch, it looked more than a little bit painful. Helped up by one of his teammates. Seems to have forgotten his hat on the ground. A casualty of war. Salute to the fallen brother. Still talking about the hat, of course. Max Seller, he's looking sneaky. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna come back. The sneakiest move of all, nothing. Gonna try to sneak a peek at Towson. No, 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 no. Oh, Towson team throws. Nope, never mind. Towson throws one ball, it hits the announcer. Trying really hard not to destroy the camera as I put the ball back in play. Whoever convinced me to use a Galaxy S3 as a prop in a highly projectile sport, kudos to them. Saginaw Valley falls back. Looks like there's an extra ball on the court. Pandemonium, an extra ball, everything is just going to hell. Extra players kicking the balls. My lord. It's straight chaos. It's pandemonium. McCucumber decides that he wants the ball. McCucumber. McCucumber's nickname is Cucumber. It sticks. It was that or McRuber. Excellent block by Towson. It looks like right now Towson has the ball advantage, forcing Saginaw Valley to run up. Looks like they're gonna try to beat them in the transition game. Saginaw Valley with an excellent catch. Saginaw Valley having one of the best transitions in the game. Excellent blocking by Towson. Sweet. I've been informed that I've said excellent too many times. I will now find alternate words. Awesome, good, great, fantastic. There are a lot. We are now debating the merits of you know, what is excellent, what is good. Whereas that block was pretty good. Towson University pushing up. Looks like they want to try to keep Saginaw Valley up a little bit farther as some of their more powerful arms are up. Towson. Oh, a nice throw. Foster is tagged and looks unhappy. Oh, number eight got tagged. Joni loves Chachi style. This game is going just dandy for Saginaw Valley, looking like they're about to take their second point with a little bit over... My God. Probably the least, uh, least dignified way to be hit. Crouching in the corner and hitting the butt. Not how I would choose to go. Ah, there's one left. Let's see how he does. Ball's over. This is a. Uh... I'm willing to bet that this is gonna end exactly the way we all expect. Ball's deep.
Saginaw Valley still obsessed with itself. All right, my co comp my compensator over here says he's gonna jump and get hit in the lower back. He did jump, but it didn't look like the lower back. I would have chosen the butt anyway. It would probably be a larger, easier target than the lower back. I was just being trying to be real specific. That's that's true.